the official African Union anthem, a song of hope and unity, and then a moment's silence to remember African peacekeepers and the millions of victims of the continent's civil wars. The focus of the African Union Council of Defense Ministers meeting is to restore peace to trouble spots through a standby force. Burundi, the latest casualty of unrest, did not attend the meeting. As that country prepares for elections amidst weeks of unrest, the AU Commission says there have been discussions about operationalizing the East Africa standby force ahead of the December timeline. The leaders of East African community has just met in Dar es Salaam. And one of the idea, if need be, was really if we want to secure more the situation and uh, prepare a better atmosphere for the election, is to think about deploying the, Africa, the East African force to help. AU member nations are in agreement that the need for a force is urgent. So far, three of the five regions have reached full capacity. That's the SADC Brigade and the East Africa forces, and training continues. Preparations are underway to conduct Amani Africa II, which serves as a benchmark for testing the full operational capability of the African standby force rapid deployment capability. Financial challenges continue to jeopardize the full establishment of the force. The AU says putting boots on the ground will need two billion US dollars, but it remains confident that the December deadline can be met. In the meantime, heads of state will advise on the way to proceed in Burundi. We have to really make sure that everybody is ready and that we have achieved that full operational of, of, the, uh, of the five brigades. But meanwhile, I mean, our heads of state can, can take also that decision if, if need be. So as I'm telling you, now we'll have to make a report to uh, the next summit and then uh, seek the advice and wisdom of our heads of state. Iran.